Hello, good evening. Okay. Everybody. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Good evening. I'm glad to be here. Excellent. Very good, very good. Thank you for joining everybody. Welcome to start in a few minutes. Uh, are you ready for today? Yep. Ready? Ready. Okay. Well, listen, uh, I'm going to start passing the attendance cards. Then I'm going to begin with the class, right? Uh, remember, I know that we have, I mean, right now we have a few participants. But as soon as you listen to your name, don't forget to say press. Um, I will begin. Dr. Mongada, Maria Veronica Ram, Eddie Janet, Present. Thanks. Nancy Castillo, Present. Alexis Flores, yeah. Ana Maria Hueso, Present. You, Ana Janet. Nesarayu. Nesarayu. Present teacher. Here. Will Ernesto. Will Ernesto, welcome, welcome guys. Good afternoon, good evening. We're going to start in a few minutes. I'm passing the tennis now. It's nine o'clock, yes. It's time to start. Right now, what I'm doing is passing the tennis. Please, as soon as you listen to your name. Don't forget to say present. Let's continue. Luis Ernesto. And Jeremias. Present. Thank you. Ruth Elizabeth. Ruth Milagro. Present. Thank you. Luis Emilio. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. Walter Alfredo. Present teacher. Here, no service matter. Service matter. Sonia Maldonado. Present teacher. Here, welcome. Jaime Humberto. Surma Yanira. Surma Yanira. Gloria Edicel. Katie Lisbeth, Victor Adonai, Tima Elizabeth, Tima Elizabeth. Present teacher. Here. Present. Thank you. Can we just name one here? Erika Yesenia. Vilma Tatiana, Gerardo Chinchillo, Verónica Milagro. I'm here. Here. Erika Marisol. Marta Stephanie. And Carolina Marquez. Present. Okay, well, listen. Those in attendance, uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome to okay, class number seven. It's nice meeting you this new week. Uh, I already passed attendance, but of course, I'm going to repeat again some of your names, right? Because I can see that you are here, right? Okay, Dr. Mukal. Dr. Mukal. However, you, you have to say present. Now she listen to your name. Dana Mukal. Maria Veronica Dura. Present teacher. Here. Nancy Castillo. Alexis Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Janet. Julia Ernesto. Present. 
Thank you. Ruth, Ruth Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thanks. Mr. Bismar. Present, present. Thank you. I'm Humberto. Very good. I'm Humberto. Sur Mayanira. Present. Thanks. Gloria Elisela. Present. Thank you. Heidi Lisbeth. Heidi. Victor Almay. Victor. Jocelyn Bonilla. Jocelyn Bonilla. Erika Yesenia. Vilma Tatiana. Fernando Chinchilla. Erika Marisol. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Stephanie. Okay. Well, pretty good. So now the people that are here, they are in my list. Okay, you're in my list. No worries. We're going to start with the class, everybody. Thank you for joining. Good evening. It's nice meeting you. How are you guys? How are you today? Thank you, Jose. Is everything nice, guys? Is everything okay? Yes. Tell me. It's okay, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Like I said before, I'm pleased to be with you one more time this new week. We are starting the, the week, right? This is class number seven. Today is Monday, July 26. And this is the topic for today. Prepositions of place. We will talk about prepositions. And specifically, these are per place, right? Prepositions of place. Okay, uh, before to continue, I just want to point out some things about the announcement, right? Uh, yeah, you receive a, a message uh, early, some hours ago, about the platform, right? Recibimos un, un mensaje en el grupo WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Hace un par de horas, en el cual, pues, se les hace énfasis en la plataforma. Como lo mencionaron en el mensaje, ¿verdad? No solamente por la entrega de que se hicieron, ¿verdad?, de, de documentos y todo eso, no, no solamente eso, que eh, pues básicamente completa su, su, su módulo, su, su nota, ¿verdad? Thank you, Jaime, thank you. Y pues debemos de ser bien cuidadosos para pues, tener la continuidad de, de, de su beca. Como lo mencionaba en el mensaje, eh, debemos ser cuidadosos en ese aspecto y, y completando la la plataforma. Les comentaba la semana pasada que hasta el jueves, el día que terminamos la semana, ¿verdad? Hasta el jueves serían para, para poder ese, ustedes completar hasta la sección 2. Espero que lo hayan hecho. Los que tuvimos alguna dificultad, pues les invito a, a seguir, ¿verdad? Y espero que hayan podido avanzar en el fin de semana. De igual forma, les animo, les motivo a seguir adelante y pues, completar la plataforma. ¿verdad? Y ir avanzando a modo de no ir en esa, esa dificultad, ¿verdad? Que nos pueda generar eh, otra consecuencia final, ¿verdad? Eh, pues yo sé que queremos estar en el proceso, ¿verdad? Seguir, debemos de cumplir con los lineamientos y en ese caso, pues, de forma. No olvidemos eso. Eh, pues para mañana tienen que tener eh, los que vamos al ritmo, ¿verdad? Perfecto. Los que nos hemos quedado atrás caso por alguna dificultad que hayamos tenido, pues recuerden que um, hasta mañana tenemos para tener completo hasta la sección 3. Entonces que no se nos olvide completar si nos hace falta, nos hemos quedado atrás, ¿verdad? Y seguir y completar hasta esa sección, sección 3. Y por supuesto hacer el meter. Mañana tenemos que hacer el meter. Voy a explicar eso, cómo se ha seccionado en caso que eh, estamos acá por primera vez o se nos ha olvidado algo. Si es que les explico acá, en cuanto al meter, ¿dónde lo vamos a encontrar, verdad? Se lo encuentran después de la sección 3, pero si ustedes, por ejemplo, quieren buscarlo directamente de acá, es acá. Sección 3, meter exam. 
damos clic acá y nos vamos directamente al, al examen, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tenemos que hacer mañana? Eh, está seccionado, tiene cinco partes. La primera parte es listening. Instructions, listen to the conversations, check the correct answers. Vamos a explicar las conversaciones y vamos a seleccionar la clase correcta, ¿verdad? De que vamos seleccionando con base en los audios, o en el audio en este caso, solo es un audio. Luego en la sección 3, la sección 2, perdón, en la parte 2, match the questions, match the questions with the answers. Instructions, match, match the questions with the answers. Vamos a relacionar las preguntas con las respuestas. Tenemos las preguntas y tenemos que tener la respuesta, ¿verdad? De esa pregunta. Y sí, pues le damos el viaje. Luego vamos a la parte C o la parte 3. Select WH questions to complete the conversations. Instructions, select the WH questions to complete the conversations. Vamos a seleccionar la pregunta interrogativa, ¿verdad? En este caso, eh, WH, WH, para completar las conversaciones. Vamos a, en este caso, a buscar la pregunta. Tenemos la respuesta, ponemos atención a la respuesta. Y... Vamos a, a obtener la pregunta, ¿verdad? La pregunta correcta. Entonces son, en este caso son cuatro. Y damos enviar. En la parte D, tenemos Complete the Conversations. Instructions, Complete the Conversations. Select the correct word. Te completarás con posiciones igual. Y vamos a seleccionar las palabras correctas. Ah, pues desde seleccionar, dale clic a la pestaña. Y pues ustedes seleccionan la que ustedes consideren. Son, en este caso tenemos 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 8. Vamos a enviar. Hemos llenado todo. ¿verdad? Vamos a la última parte. Parte de Read the article. Read the article. Then select the correct prompt remedy for each condition. Vamos a leer el artículo y luego vamos a seleccionar el remedio tercero eh, para cada padecimiento. Acá tenemos el reading, the article, and then you have to select the best questions. So I just four. Okay? Then we click on the, the enviar button. Luego seleccionamos solo enviar y listo. Se ha completado el midterm. Ese es el midterm. Probablemente algunos de ustedes se lo completaron, ¿verdad? Excelente. Eh, los que no lo hemos hecho, pues llevamos el ritmo, como lo mencioné hace un momento. Y pues tenemos mañana para hacerlo. Pena de que hacerlo, es que si no lo hemos hecho, pues estemos listos para hacer el meter. Lo quiero poner acá en lista, los que me acaban de eh, comentar en el chat. Hello, hello, welcome. Good evening. I have Ana Janet. Heidi. And I can see Victor and I. Somebody else. ¿Qué más te acaba de ver? Jancy Castillo, right? Teacher, yes. Good Thank evening, you. teacher. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Welcome, welcome. Yo, teacher. Good evening. Present Thank teacher. You. Thanks. Very good. Somebody else? Jaime Garcia. Yeah, Jaime. You are in my list. No problem. Ya lo había seleccionado. No se preocupe. Present teacher. Erika Yesenia. Good. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Good, good evening. Anybody else? Will you must? Hello, Chinchilla. Hello, welcome. Good evening. Hello, teacher person. Hello, welcome. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, too. Uh, somebody else? You must. Welcome, someone's capable of my visa. Okay. ¿Hay preguntas con respecto a la plataforma? Oh, Katie, thank you. No worries. ¿Preguntas, dudas? ¿No? ¿Todo bien? Eh, repito, porque sí quiero repetir lo siguiente, por los que escucharon eh, hace unos minutos, ¿verdad? Estaba comentando a sus compañeros que 
la importancia de ir completando la plataforma. El día de mañana tenemos que tener completo hasta la sección 3. La sección 3 se ve completado el meter, perdón. Que se lo mañana el meter, como se explica en hace un momento. Es que eh, se hizo énfasis en eso en el, en el grupo, ¿verdad? Y en WhatsApp, que la, de la plataforma, algunos que no han completado, han iniciado, pero no han completado, o sea, no se les ha, se les ha estipulado, ¿verdad? La invitación es esta. Por favor, vayamos completando poco a poco. Pero eso sí, eh, a modo de ir, pues, en ese caso, llegando hasta donde se nos, nos indica, ¿verdad? Como repito, mañana tenemos, hasta la, tenemos que llegar a la sección 3, por lo menos. Completarás ahí para, eh, pues, estar al día. Para el día. Eh, mañana terminamos la semana 2. La sección 3 específicamente, tenemos esa sección y pues ya el miércoles, el miércoles iniciamos con la semana 3, que sería la sección 4 en la plataforma. Que poco a poco vamos avanzando, ¿verdad? Y vamos completando la plataforma. Repito, ustedes pueden ir avanzando, como ustedes saben, pueden ir avanzando, a modo de ir completando, ¿verdad? Y practicando, por supuesto. Si hay dudas o preguntas, siempre estamos ahí en la orden, con gusto, se ve da ayuda o soporte que ejercicio que sea. Eh, lo otro, bueno, siguiendo con, con el tema de la plataforma, recuerden que ese es pues, su área de trabajo, es deben de irla completando para poder tener esa continuidad de, de la beca, ese beneficio. Si ustedes no cumplen con la plataforma, y pues recuerden que el porcentaje es arriba del 80%. Entonces, eh, se están haciendo esos recordatorios de parte del facilitador en este caso y en clase, ¿verdad? Y de las autoridades de inglés corporativo. Que ellos están, pues, siempre ahí texteando por WhatsApp para que ustedes estén atentos a esto. E igual se les pide, pues, que se respondan a esos mensajes también por WhatsApp. La mayoría los ve, pero hay personas que, tantas que no responden. Pues, Queremos estar ese, entrados o saber que se han recibido el mensaje. Que, por favor, no olvidar hacer eso. Ok, no sé si hay preguntas. Oh. Teacher, yo tengo una yes. pregunta. Fíjese que a nosotros nos mandaron el link para, el, para llenar información para el siguiente módulo. Pero fíjese que en la parte donde está la ficha del PDF para eh, nosotros llenarlo a mano y mandarlo escaneado, eh, dice que no tenemos acceso a la, al documento. Entonces yo escribí a la persona que me envió el correo, pero nunca me, nunca me contestó. Entonces tenemos esa dificultad de que no podemos llenar la ficha porque dice que tenemos acceso denegado y que tenemos que solicitar un permiso para poder acceder al documento. Y se le, se le, me dijo. Me comenta que se les envió PDF, ¿verdad? Sí, pero lo mandan en OneDrive. Entonces nos mandan oh, el link para que nosotros oh. entremos al OneDrive y nosotros poder tener acceso al documento. Pero a bueno. la hora de, de poder acceder al OneDrive nos dice que necesitamos acceso, que mandar una solicitud para que nos los acepten. Pero ese es el claro. inconveniente que tenemos. Claro, ese, en ese caso podemos hacer lo siguiente. Eh, los que ya tenemos ese archivo de PDF se lo pueden compartir en el grupo WhatsApp. Sería la, 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 la forma viable. Si alguien ya lo tiene, se lo puede compartir en WhatsApp. Es el mismo formulario. Ya se compartió, ya se compartió en el grupo de WhatsApp. Excelente. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Teacher. Dígame. Este, eh, a mí me dio el mismo problema, pero a veces lo que hay que hacer es abrir el, el archivo completamente no para leer todo el, el la información ya cuando uno abre todo el archivo entonces le da acceso a al, al link donde lo mandan a uno para descargar el el documento también también thank you ajá bueno. thank you bueno podemos hacer eso que comentaba Ana Janet también hay que verificar bien y si no pues el compañero comenta que ya lo ya lo compartiera solo que no lo veo Solo veo en el grupo. Ahorita se revisa, no lo veo. 
No, lo que sé es que lo compartieron, pero en un grupo que tenemos. Solo el enlace está. Todo. Ok. Si gustan, pues, pues lo pueden, pueden compartir el archivo en sí, el PDF. Que lo pueden compartir en el grupo que tenemos. ¿O? Eh, quien lo tenga ya. Estos compañeros, pues solo lo descargan eh, por WhatsApp y, y listo. Es el mismo eh, formulario, el mismo formato para todos. Y recuerden que si ustedes deben de imprimirlo, llenarlo, porque debe llevar su firma y después escanearlo para luego enviarlo. Ese proceso deben de llevar. Ya que ya la mayoría está familiarizado con eso, así es que lo repito por, por si a alguien se le ha olvidado. Eh, repito, deben de imprimirlo, llenarlo, firmarlo, porque más que todo por eso, por la firma, se va la firma, luego escanearlo y, y enviarlo lo antes posible. Son las fechas que les han estipulado, que se han indicado. ¿Alguien más tiene dudas? ¿Preguntas? Okay, thank you, Marta, by the way. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Anybody else? Questions? Bill? Okay, we begin with the class. This is class number seven. Today's topic is prepositions of place. Let's move on. Okay, let's begin by defining what is a preposition of place. A preposition of, a preposition of place, sorry, is used to refer to a place where something or someone is located. What is a preposition of place? But it is used to refer to a place, okay? Where there will be someone or one thing or something is located. It can be a, when we say something, it can be a store. It can be a, another place, probably a stadium, a hospital, etc. They refer to someone, so let's get this person, right? The people. That is a prepositional place. Let's start with some prepositions. Let me give you some examples of prepositions in place. The first one, look at this, the door, let's say, and the preposition is on. What is the first preposition? On. Let me give you an example. My house, I'm talking about my house, is on Main Street. Okay? Most of the times when we use on, and we use on is because we're referring to, we use this preposition, we use it for the street names. I mean, we want to refer to street names. Okay, my house is here, like the picture, right? My house is here, so this is the street, this is the main street. So most of the times we use on with an, a street. On plus a street, that can be the the mini structure, right? Plus the name of the street. In this case, it's Main Street. This is a the street. This is Main Street, and this is my house. So I said, my house is on Main Street, or my house is on the First Avenue. It's not like that. My house is on the first avenue. That's another possibility. It's on. And now we here we have a an avenue. An avenue. Okay? Only with that. Only with that. This is the first repetition. On. On. So if you analyze the sentence. If you analyze the sentence, you have a subject, we have the verb, in this case it's the verb be, specifically. And then we have the preposition. And at the end, we have a complement. The preposition is accompanied by a complement. So I can say my house is on Main Street. My house is the subject, this is the verb be, it's the preposition, this is my house is on Main Street. That's the first one. On. Don't forget. On. Next. This is on the corner of. On the corner of. 
What do we have here? What is this? This is a bookstore. A bookstore, right? So we can see here, we can identify two streets. We have this street, so this one continues over here. And the other one is over here, right? It's over here. So it continues right here, right? Over here. So we have two streets. Most of the times when, when you say on the corner of, it's because you're going to mention uh, two streets, two streets, or can be two avenues, two avenues. For example, we can say if a place is like that, if a place is like that, right? We can say the bookstore is on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. This is Main Street. This is Main Street. Main Street. So imagine that this is the street, right? This is the street. And this is the avenue. This is the first avenue. Okay? So it depends on the name of the streets or the avenues, right? So it depends. But that's the way we use on the corner of. The bookstore is here. The bookstore is on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. Okay? That's the way. Any questions with the first prepositions? On and on the corner of. Those are the first two prepositions. On and on the corner of. Any questions? Everything good? Oh, no. Yo tengo una pregunta. Tell me. Este Main Street este, significa calle principal o algo así. Yes, yeah. ¿Qué significa? Yeah. Main Street. First Avenue? First Avenue es la primera avenida. Como decimos, avenidas. La primera avenida. Gracias. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Somebody else? Oh, okay, on the corner of, um, well, an equivalence in, in Spanish is como en la esquina, en la esquina. That's on the corner of. That's why we can see that the store is, is like, like this, right? The store. So that's on the corner of. We have two streets. We have one street or it can be the an avenue, right? So it depends. Or we can have two streets, two streets. Probably the example can be like, the bookstore is on the corner of the first, oh well, yeah, Main Street and it can be like, let me see, Roosevelt Street. It's another name of the street, right? The bookstore is on the corner of Main Street in Roosevelt Street. So in this case, we have two streets. Two streets. Very good. Somebody else? You're welcome, Gloria. Somebody else? Okay, let's go with two more propositions. Remember, on and on the corner off. Next, so now we have different things, right, in the photo. In the picture, we can see two things or two, two places, let's say, and we have a street. Listen to this, pay attention to this. Our bookstore, that is a bookstore, and this is a post office. And in the middle, we have a street, we have a street. So you can cross a street, cross a street. So if you want to use a preposition and you want to refer to a place or places, you can say across from. This is the preposition. This is number three. Across from. Across from. For example, for example, let's say, listen, we, we tend to use a question when we want to ask for positions or locations. We tend to use where is. 
we can say, where is the bookstore? Where is the bookstore? The bookstore, or you can say it is, it is because we know that we're talking about the bookstore. It is, or we can say the bookstore is okay. The bookstore is a cross farm. Okay. So we can identify here a street. The street is in the middle. In the middle. It's in the middle. We're talking about the two the two places. The two places are the bookstore and the post office. So in other words, you have to cross the street in order to get to the destination. You have to cross the street because you want to go to the bookstore. The bookstore is a cross from the That's the way. Okay. Um another one. This is the third proposition, a cross from. Any questions about this one for by the way? Questions about this one? No. And again, we're following the, this structure, right? So it says the bookstore is restaurant with office. So again, the bookstore is uh, the subject. The verb is is. The verb be. Cross from is a preposition and the post office can be a complement or can be a noun. But we're following the same structure. Right? Um, it depends. It depends. Because if you have a street in the middle, Gloria, we say across from because you have to cross the street. Want to say in front of is because they are close. They are close, but they don't have a street in the middle. They are close. And probably we have the entrance, right? The entrance. This is what I say. This is what I mean. Listen. Okay, well, you have the, the two places over here. Two places, and they are close. They are closed, but they don't they don't have a street. And like I said, the, the entrance, the entrance of these places are here. Let me show you. Um yes. These are the entrance. These are the entrance. The entrance is there and the entrance is here. But we don't have a, a, a street in the middle. So now we can say the bookstore is in front of both office. But if you have a street have a street in the middle, so you say across from because we need to cross the street. Okay, this is the way. Then hay una calle, por decirlo así, o un caminito. Bueno, se dice un caminito, pero sabemos que está bien cercano, se podría decir. Podría ser infernal. Pero si tenemos una calle, más una calle para ancha, pues sería cross from, porque debe de cruzar la calle. You're welcome, Claudia. Okay, let's go next. Now we have, again, the same image. Let's say the same image. But now the two places are close. Close, right? Beside, beside. So the preposition is next to, next to. So what, now we can say, well, imagine that we have a bank and we have a post office. Where is a bank? Where is a bank? Where is a bank? Where is a bank? It is next to the post office. Okay, the bank is next to the post office. Next to the post office. They are closed. They are closed. Don't tell Okay, a la par. Again, the first proposition. What was the first proposition? 
Wait, what was the first preposition? On. Second, what was the second preposition? Across from. That's number three. That's number three. Number two? On the corner of. On the corner of. On, on the corner of. Number three, across from. Hey, number four? Next. Next to. Yeah, that's number four. We're missing one more. Any questions over here? Across from and next to. No? No question. So far so good? Thank you. Okay, let's go with another one. I'm sorry? No? You know. Okay, continue. Let's go with another one. Now we have the same scenario, but we have three places. Three places. And I need you to focus, I need you to look at the, the one that is in the middle. The middle, so it has an arrow, right? An arrow. So this is between. And this place or this store is a drugstore. A drugstore. So the question is, it's a drugstore. And the two places are, yeah, next to it, they are a bank and a post office. The drugstore is between the bank, this is the bank, and the post office. The drugstore is between the bank and the post office. Between, between, okay? Let's summarize again the prepositions. Number one, what was the first preposition? On. On number two, the corner oh. on the corner of, of yes, number three, across, across from, from, across from, from, from number four, next, next to, to, next to, next, yeah, next to. to, and the last one between. Right? Yeah. Most, of the, most of the times, if you want to ask for locations. We use the construction. We use the, con the construction for is plus, let's say, uh, a place. Okay. So this is what we use. We use it to ask how locations, it can be destinations. Etc. Okay, and we can say where is the drugstore? And we answer like you can say it is. It is. If you say it is, you're referring to the drugstore. We know that we're talking about that. That's why I did this. I did this. Because I'm referring to this. I'm referring to this. Or you can say the drugstore is. Okay. But if you want to avoid repetition, I mean, you want to you say, what is the drugstore? The drugstore is. You can say it is. We know we are talking about that. It is between the bank and the post office. Or you can say the drugstore is between the, the bank and the post office. Those are the ways you can report. But you want to, or you, you can give, sorry, a location, a location. Very good. Any questions about the prepositions? Any questions? So we have five prepositions over here, right? Five prepositions. On, on the corner of, across from, next to, and between. We're going to practice with those five prepositions on the following activities. Any questions? Everything is all right? So far so good? Solo una.
I'm sorry? Una preguntita. Yeah. Nada más con lo que decía la compañera, con el ejemplo de in front. Eh, es como, por un ejemplo, es como un centro comercial, digamos, a un local, por decir algo, una zapatería, eh, ad hoc, y enfrente está el banco. Eh, ahí sí se puede decir. Bien. Yeah. Yes. Ad hoc. Y es For now, the bank, the bank. Yeah, in this case, yes. If you are in a shopping mall, Plaza Mundo, Metro Center, etc. And yeah, we know that they are like this, right? So one thing is here, for example, a lock, and we can get a, a bank in front of, right? Yeah, a dog is in front of the bank. So in front of is another proposition. Yeah. But if you have this, you have this, you cannot say it because you have a street. You have a street, uh, I mean, some people use it. Some people say, uh, for example, the bookstore is in front of the post office. It can be valid, it can be valid. But most of the time, the, the correct proposition is across from, across from this because again, you have to cross the street. You have to cross the street in order to get to the destination. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Teacher. Eh, yeah, Ana Maria was on first, and then I think Luis. Are you? Eh, eh, bueno, aquí se ocupa bastante eso. Esquina opuesta a. Ah, en ese caso, ¿cómo sería? Esquina opuesta. Ajá, yo he escuchado que. Ah, es que queda esquina puesta a la farmacia, por decir algo. Entonces ahí siempre se usaría ese across from. No, no. Eh, that one is like... Eh, I have forgotten the preposition, but that one is at the, at the opposite. Eh, let me look for it. Let me look for it because I'm, I don't remember exactly. It's here. Yeah, tell me. Lo que pasa que, que, o sea, algo que tenemos que tener claro es de que las preposiciones que usamos en español no son aplicables en inglés, porque si mi compañera quiere ocupar esquina opuesta, lo que tendría que usar es on the corner of. Yeah. Y dar un, un, una mejor referencia. Exactly. You have, you have to be careful that, that is some, that's a good point. That is something that you have to keep in mind that in English is different. And Spanish, because yeah, in Spanish you say esquina puesta. Eh, you know, we have different ways to spread to express directions, and we don't use the proper uh, directions, right? The proper indications. We use some other ways, right? But in English, yeah, these are the most common prepositions, like on the corner of. If we can say uh, next to, between, in front of. Okay. Well, there is, there is one way, there is one way if you want to say in a skin of quest. But you know, most of the times people use on the corner of. Another one is at the opposite. At the opposite is like corner of. That can be like a skin of quest, or the, or the opposite corner of. That can be. But, I said before, uh, most of the times people use from the corner out. That's the most common. The most common. Uh, that is, you're welcome, you're welcome. That is behind, Gloria. Behind. You want to say uh, atrás, right? Behind. For example, you can say, let me see. Um, I'm not sure. Let me see a place, a specific place. Mm, I'm not sure about the places. I'm thinking about uh, an scenario right, in which I can give you an example like behind. Well, I can tell you something about, you know, my room, right? I can yeah. say, um, give me a second, give me a second. Um, I can say, 
podría ser sí, mi no. casa está detrás de la iglesia. Yeah. My house is behind the shore. The shore. Yeah. The ho my house is behind the shore. The shore. Yes. That's the way. That's the way. Okay. Somebody else? Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, the park, the park is behind the restaurant. Yes, the park is behind the restaurant. Yeah, very good. Anybody else, questions? Somebody else? Oh, yeah, par parqueo, sorry, yes. The, you can say the parking lot. The parking lot is behind the restaurant. Yes, exactly, that's a good example. Thank you, Gloria, for the reminder. Okay, listen, we're going to practice with the following place. As you can see, we have here different places. Different places, you can identify many of them. We have a movie theater, we have a bank, we have a Chinese restaurant. We have a bookstore, a park, we have a parking lot, as Gloria said, but in this case, as you can see, a, we have, well, a grocery store, a movie theater, they are close, right, to the parking lot. Okay, we have a newsstand, we have a music store, a payphone, a bank, we have a mailbox, and a restaurant, a post office, a travel agent, grocery store, a swimming pool and a drugstore. We have a bus stop here, right? Bus stop. Okay, we're going to practice. You're going to ask your, your classmates some questions. We're going to use the construction where is, where is plus the place. You're going to ask that to your classmates and they need to give you the locations, right? We're going to use preposition place. Only that. For example, let me see, if I say, if I say, um, where is the Italian restaurant? So I can say, uh, it is, it is on the corner of, Say Davis Street and Main Street. So this is my location. Someone asked me, what, what is the Italian restaurant? It is on the corner of Davis Street and Main Street. So this is Italian restaurant. So it's, in the, it's, it's on the corner. It is on the corner of Davis Street and this is the Main Street. Main Street, Davis Street, uh, Maple Street, etc. We're going to start practicing with your classmates. You're going to ask some questions and you're going to select someone, right? So that person is going to give you a uh, locations with the prepositions of place. We're going to use on, across from, next to, on the corner of, between, if you want to use in front of, behind, etc. Those are some extra prepositions, right? Behind, in front of, et cetera. Okay, we're going to start practicing. You're going to help me guys with this map. This is a map and you can see a lot of stores. Okay, any volunteers? Volunteers, you're going to give me some examples. Going to up for location. Okay, hi, man. Hi, Mia. Yes. Uh, you're going to ask your question to Daniel Jeremias. And Jeremias wants to participate too. They ask a question like, where is? So Daniel, please. In this case, uh, I have a question from Daniel. Yeah. Where are you, Daniel, in the hmm. map? Where are you? Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 that's a good question. 
Okay, listen. We're going to take the re uh, this reference. And let's, well, everybody is here. Everybody is here. It says you're here. So Daniel is here. Okay. Let's go with the question. Jaime, let's go with the question. Or I think that was a question, right, Jaime? Where are Excuse you? Excuse me? That was a question, where are you? Esa yes, fue la pregunta que se hizo. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. okay, okay. Hey, Jaime. Where are you, Daniel? I'm sorry. In the map. Uh, pretty good. Daniel, like I said before, oh, I don't know if you, you are here or you want to get another position. But the question that Daniel asked you is, where are you? Where are you? Um, in the parking lot. I am in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, can be, can be. Yeah, because you're almost in, you're inside. I am in the parking lot. Okay. This is another proposition, in. So maybe you're inside, inside the parking lot, right? So in, remember that it's inside, inside, then, then. Okay, very good. Daniel, select somebody else, please, and ask one question to that person. Um, Jenny Saray. Who? Oh, Jennifer Saray, Jenny Saray, right? Um, Jenny, where is the swimming pool? Okay, where is the swimming pool, Jenny? Jenny, what is the swimming pool? Es que no sé si está entre medio o detrás del parque. Hmm, but you have a street over here, Jenny. You have a street, you have a street. So you can use a cross from. Yes, it is um, a street on the park. It is? A street? A cross from. A cross uh, from? In the park. The park, yes. Very good. Yeah, it is across from the park. This is a swimming pool. The swimming pool is across from the park. This is the park. Yes, Jenny, that is the way. It is across from the park. Excellent. Let's yes, continue. No. Yeah, tell me. Eh, con mi respuesta, acabo de leer ahí en el chat que mencionaban sobre la diferencia del in y el on. Yo dije in porque in el supuesto, yo me encontraba dentro del parqueo. Yeah, y yeah. he seguido en la acera del parqueo, entonces mi respuesta hubiera sido on. On, ahí, yeah. Main Street, por ahí. exactly. Por ahí iba vale, eh, un ejemplo de la, la pregunta que hacían en el chat. Yes, on Main Street. And when you say in, it's because you're inside. Inside of a store, of a building, etc. So that is the difference. On is used for, for streets, for streets, main street, let's say, for main street. So imagine that Daniel was here, Daniel was here in the sidewalk, as she said, as he said, sorry, in Acera. So in that case is, Daniel is on main street, on main street, main street, because it is not inside. But imagine that Daniel is here, here. So, I mean, I know that this is not a closed place, right? But if you're in a, in a place, or in this case, in a parking lot, so it, it can be inferred that you are inside, let's say. In this case, imagine that Daniel was here, and I said, I am in the parking lot. So it means that he is inside. I am in the parking lot, so he's inside. What is the difference between go on and in, Gloria? Does it make sense, Claudia?
you welcome. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to select somebody else. Jancy, can you ask a question to somebody else? Choose a classmate and ask one question. Where is? Okay, teacher. Um, um, Gloria, where is the park? Okay, where is the park, Gloria? Where is the park, Gloria? Okay. Eh, ¿Dónde estaría supuestamente? This is the park. This is the park. Ah, pero yo ¿dónde estaría supuestamente? I'm sorry, repeat again. It can eh, be. Yeah. Come, o sea, ¿dónde estaría ellos? Eh, es que no sé dónde estaría ellos supuestamente para... This is all the park. This is all the park. All this. This is the park. This is all the park. And yeah, we don't have more places right over here, but we have a place over here, and we have a place over here. So maybe you can just across from. Or another possibility can be on the corner off because this is all the park. Um, across from um, Maple Street. Mm, but in, the, in that case, when we say across from, you cannot use the streets. Utilizamos the cross no se pueden eh, incluir la, los nombres de las calles, solo con on. Solo con on se utiliza el nombre de calles. En este caso, cuando utilizamos otra proposición diferente, nos referimos a otro lugar. Una tienda, un edificio, etc. Esa cross from can be the swimming pool, Gloria, or it can be the bookstore. Ok. Yeah. Bookstore can be similar. Very good. Okay, Gloria, can you select somebody else? Can you ask a question to another person, please? Um, Ana Maria Hueso. Okay, let's go. Um, where is? Uh, where is the parking lot? Okay, where is the parking lot? Where is the parking lot? Thank you, Gloria. Where is the parking lot? Um, it's, bueno, no sé, aquí tengo dos. It's, it's across from the, no sé, no veo lo que está enfrente de ahí. Porque puedo decir, it's on Main Street. Y enfrente de, pero su cuadro no me deja ver lo que está enfrente. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Ah, puedo decir que está, it's across from drugstore. Yeah. Very good. That's one possibility. Good. It's across from drugstore. Yes. The parking lot it is across from drugstore. Very good. Do you have a second possibility? Because I was listening to, to that. On Main Street. Yeah. Yeah. Or could I say in the corner of Main Street and like Maple Street or Maple okay. Street? Yeah. Very good. It's on the corner of. Main Street, 
and Maple Street. Yes. And the other possibility is just on Main Street. Okay. Very good. We have two possibilities up here. Ana Maria, select somebody else, please. Different class, right? Um... Jose Mejia? Yes. Could you ask a question to Jose Mejia? What is? What is? Movie teacher. No, movie. Movie theater. Movie theater. Yes. What is, what is movie theater? Exactly. Movie theater is in front grocery store. In front of. In front of grocery store. Oh, oh. Behind, behind, behind. Yeah, yeah. The movie theater. Movie theater is on behind grocery store. Is behind grocery store. Hmm, but in, the movie theater is behind the grocery store. But in this case, uh, I think the it doesn't- The grocery store is behind yeah. the movie theater. Yeah, it doesn't apply in this case. But in this case, it doesn't apply. Sorry, it's cierto. It's okay, it's okay, no problem. Tell me, tell me another one, no problem. Another possibility? Movie theater is? Movie theater is next to parking lot. Yeah, in that case, yes, it applies. Next to the parking lot. Is the, the movie theater is on Davis Street. Yes, excellent. Movie theater is on Davis Street. Yes, this is the street. David, thank street. you. Thank you too. Very good. Yeah. Teacher, um, in front of grocery store. In front of grocery store. Um. Podría hmm? ser mejor. It's across from newsstand. Yeah, that's another possibility. That's another possibility. I'm an, I'm analyzing it. It's I'm analyzing it. The idea that you said when you say in front of the grocery store, because in that case it doesn't apply. Let me show you why. You understand? Yeah, this is correct. The movie theater is across from the new stand. This one. Across from. It, it cannot be in front of, in front of, because like I said before, when you say in front of, it's because the two places are here. And we have the entrance over here, the entrance. Las entradas están el mismo, por decirlo así, están adyacentes, ¿verdad? La entrada está acá, eh, un establecimiento, y la otra está acá. Como que están en el enfrente, como decía. Pero en ese caso no, porque la entrada está acá, la entrada del cine está acá, no atrás. Si estuviera atrás, probablemente sería un for now. For now. Yes, that's why we cannot use him for now. It may be, maybe if you want to use the movie theater is the grocery store, maybe another proposition can be the movie theater is near grocery store. But that is another proposition. Near. It can be this one. Serica. That can apply. What do you say? Movie theater is near. On David Street. Yes, the movie theater is on Davis Street. Yes. It's on Davis Street. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Well, because because of the time, I'm gonna go with the last participants. Team. Uh, who was the last one? Let me see. Who was the last one? Oh, it's always mine. It says, select someone, please. 
Edith Janet. Yeah. What is the new stand? Yes, what is the new stand? The new stand is on Navy Street. Okay, is on Davis. Oh, Street. the new stand is next to music store. Yes, pretty good. That's another possibility. It's next to the music store. Good job. Yeah. Or oh, across yeah. from all each other. Exactly. It's across from the movie theater. That is another way. Yeah. But as you can see, we have three ways. I'm not so good. I'm sorry? I have the flu. I have a fever. Do you have another one? I'm not so good. Oh, yeah. I have yeah. a fever. Yes, tell me. The options are... The options that you that you are giving, yeah, they are they are good. It's on Davis Street. It's next to the music store, and it's across from the movie theater. Yeah, talking about the new stand. Absolutely. Okay, thank you, dude. So good. You're welcome. Okay, listen. It's time, guys. We're going to start right here, but I'm going to assign you a homework, an extra practice. So you can continue practicing with this. What I want you to do in your notebooks, you're going to answer the following questions. You need to give me locations with the preposition, right? Look at the map, the one that I showed you before, right? And answer the following questions. What I want you to do is this. You need, you're going to take a screenshots and you're going to send them. Or in this case, you're going to keep them, right? Please take a screenshot of this extra homework because I need to practice with the map and with this purpose in the place. On, on the corner of, next to, across from, between, you can use in front of, behind, etc. right? Let me give you an example. What is an easy stand? The one that we were discussing previously, right? It's across from the movie theater, as we said, right? Then it's a stand, it's across from the movie theater. That's an example. But what I want you to do is this, you're going to answer the following questions. I will give you five. What is the Chinese restaurant? What is the travel agent? What is the parking lot? What is the missing store? And what is the park? I will give you five questions. What I want you to do is to take a screenshot, take a screenshot of these, and take a screenshot of the map. If someone can take a screenshot of the map and send it to the WhatsApp group, please, or I will send it to you. Vamos a hacer es contestar a tus preguntas con base en lo que hemos estado atendiendo de ese día. Las instituciones. Vamos a tomar capturas de pantalla, please, para que sigamos practicando. Que las preguntas. Todavía las pueden mandar. Muy bien. Si no, yo se las envío. Les envío eso y les envío el mapa. Si quieren, pueden tomar captura del mapa. And I need you to answer the questions. Quiero que contestemos las preguntas. Any questions? Yo tengo una pregunta. Yeah. El inglés, como dice el compañero, no se toma literal, ¿verdad? Pero la parada de buses está en la esquina. Para decir yeah. que la parada de buses está en la esquina, este, ¿de qué forma lo daríamos? O, ¿O tendríamos que decir que está enfrente de la librería? No, you can say that that is another way to say just like in la esquina. Say, the bus stop is, you can say just in the, on the corner. On the corner. So we'll, we'll include off. We say just on the corner. Just like that. The bus stop is on the corner. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else questions about the, the extra practice, the homework? Do you take the screenshot from Amon and Kakura? Do you take the Yeah. Okay. 
okay, yo lo pongo, lo voy a ver yo en mapa, quiero que practiquen, and you have to answer this question, the map. Este mapa vamos a utilizar el mismo. And you have to answer this question. What is the Chinese restaurant? What is the travel agent? What is the parking lot? What is the Mercedes store? And what is the park? Only five questions. Follow the example, please. And let's do the other ones here in our books. Only that. Okay, before to go, any questions? Muchas gracias por compartir capturas y compartir el archivo. A los que no, no pudimos, en ese caso, acceder, intentemos, sigamos intentando para que no tenga ningún inconveniente, así como lo comentaba la compañera, ¿verdad? Veamos nuevamente, pero el archivo ya está ahí, lo han compartido. Que, que hagamos ese formulario, enviamos, completémoslo y lo enviamos cuanto posible. Para que no tenga ningún inconveniente. Bien, entonces hay tareas acerca de, perdón, no hay, si hay preguntas acerca de la actividad práctica. The question, teacher. No? Okay. Well, everybody, welcome to still right here because it's time. Thank you so much for your time. All my time. I appreciate that on you. We will continue tomorrow. Remember, let's get ready for tomorrow about the meter. Um, and yeah, please keep going. Continue working in the platform. If you have any questions, just let me know. Have a good night, everybody. Stay safe and blessings to you and your parents. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. Yeah, bye, bye. Thank you, teacher. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Bye, guys. Have a good night.